Subscribe to get contents via mail. Purchase shorthand journals and more. Mr. Mahadev, Larnet Council, appearing for assailed the impugned award on the ground as set out in section 34 of the Act. According to him, claim number 2 awarded by the arbitral tribunal fell outside the scope of the arbitration agreement and were not arbitrable. He contended that the arbitration clause under the work orders was confined to referring the disputes that arose in respect of the work orders and therefore did not cover any claim for additional works. According to him, such work did not fall within the scope of works as covered under the two work orders in question. He submitted that thus there was no agreement between the parties to refer the said disputes to arbitration. Next, he submitted that in the event it is accepted that the additional works in respect of which the aforesaid claims were made by the respondent related to the work orders, the impugned award would be liable to be set aside as being contrary to the express terms of the contract between the parties. He contended that the work orders were for a lump sum amount and in terms of clause 10 of the work orders. No further amount was payable over and above the amount as mentioned in the respective work orders. He also drew the attention of this court to clause 18 of the work orders and submitted that in the event the extra items were considered as a deviation within the meaning of clause 18 of the work order. The same would require the express consent. Since no such consent was granted, the extra work done could not be considered as a deviation in terms of clause 18 of the work orders and therefore the impugned award is liable to be set aside. Mr. Madhav earnestly contended that either the impugned award in respect of claim number 2 and 3 is liable to be set aside as without jurisdiction as the said claims are not arbitrable or is liable to be set aside on the ground that it is patently illegal being contrary to the express terms of the contract between the parties. Before proceeding to address the aforesaid contentions, it is relevant to refer to the two claims in question. The respondent had claimed a sum of rupees 17 lakhs under claim number 2 in terms of its invoice which was in respect of items executed within the periphery of the banquet areas. The respondent claim number 3 was for a sum of rupees 39 lakhs in terms of its for extra items executed within the banquet hall. 